Where are we? A burned out wreck planet? Nope. This is paradise. It looks kind of burned out and wrecky at the moment. This is Eden Prime. It's got a red sky and gas bags and There's bogs. Kind of a lot of like cinders flying around. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. No reason not to shoot them. Nope. <laughs> they blow up really good. What are they exactly? Like I don't know. Are they like people? No, they're animals, I guess. They're huh. gas bags. It's not a very nice name for an animal. No. I'm not terribly creative either. I don't know if that's their official Latin name. <laughs> Gassus Bagius. Um, I'm going to put all my points into charm as soon as I can because it gives you different things you can say. I would put mine into punching. Punching is not a skill. S well, that's not really true, is it? <laughs> it's not very useful. Oh. Punching is really useful in the third game. But it's not that useful here. Oh, God. What happened here? Someone was trying some bodies. Bad thing. Time for the corporal to shine. That means he's gonna die. He's probably gonna die. He seems pretty much marked for death. Yeah, he's got one of the faces that's it's from the you know the algorithm. It's not a model. Yeah. <sighs> that really didn't take very long at all. Corporal Jenkins, we hardly knew ye. Didn't care either. Nope. So Caden can sabotage things because he's biotic. Anyway, walk up behind a wall and Shepard sticks to it kind of. And then if you shoot, he, he ducks out of cover. Right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll maybe, see that he receives a proper service. Maybe he should have hung out behind great. a wall like <laughs> anybody with any bold. goddamn sense. <laughs> like, aye, aye, sir. you guys were all chilling behind Leave that him. wall, and he was we like, I will face him. Why? Aye, aye, <laughs> okay, so now that I maxed out charm, I just put all my points into assault rifles as soon as possible because I like the assault rifle um, that just uh, the assault training increases damage from your gun it makes your gun better I guess that seems useful yeah so there are waist-high walls everywhere and when you see them you know that you are about to get shot And indeed, here's some shooting. And I have to actually tell Caden to use his skills, his biotic so skills. He won't just do it. Lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Again, why is Nihilus clear across the map if he's supposed to be observing the mission? and evaluating us. Because foreshadowing? You're saying something bad is going to happen to Nihilus? Seems pretty clear that something bad is going to happen. Whether he will be the actor of said badness or the acted upon remains to be seen. True. He could be a traitor. Totally. He's got that creepy pointy face. I don't know what they are. Are they fish people or something? 
I'm not clear why they uh, adapted that. So you have shields, and then you have your health, and when people shoot you at first, it, it is, hits your shields and they can go away, and the shields regenerate on their own, but your health does not. Uh, you have to use a first aid kit. Uh, medi gel, they call it. Oh yeah, that Here's Ashley Williams. We saw her in the, the video at the beginning. Definitely Freudian. Is she wearing a pink helmet? Yes. Hey, gender roles. She also has a suit of armor that, that uh, adheres to her tits and ass. Well, yeah, because otherwise how could it be effective? At protecting her ass? Yeah. If her armor didn't have butt Gunnery cleavage. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. But doesn't actually serious. answer the question, are you in charge? The others weren't so lucky. <laughs> oh, man. Like, does the answer the depend on the whether she is or not? We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. Or could you? We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Um, well, why are you they there? They for the beacon. Duh. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It what might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. Maybe they're just on vacation. Mm -hmm. Aren't they I like need a robots? Report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried mm. to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth, mm, the Geth overwhelmed us. Don't be like asshole, Shepard. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. That is oddly specific ass armor. Right. Lieutenant Alenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, sir. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra fire. No, girlies are gross. Just don't forget who's in charge. <laughs> Cooties. Understood, Commander. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. So the Geth rebelled and then left. They Tell didn't continue you know to and beacon. wipe out everybody. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand Why the not? colony. You'd think they would. Ago, I they mean, unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself. But I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Got beacon. Blowed up. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Mm -hmm. Describe yeah. what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. 
If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Or is he? Sorry. Like I said, no Turian. Yeah, he is. Or is he? Move out. Yes. Maybe he's not. He's creepy looking. And you naturally distrust him. Ashley is a soldier. Same as, uh, same as Shepard in this run. So I will not be using her very much. Caden is a biotic. And tech. So where does she go when you're not using her? They stay on the ship. Good more things. So I have to go back and collect things, which is, it's part of this game that's not very good. Um, it's way better in the second game where you don't have to go around picking up individual upgrades and stuff. You just upgrade the stuff that you have. Does seem like a lot of useless walking. Y yeah, they got rid of a lot of the RPG elements in the second uh, game and they kind of brought them back a little bit in the third but it it honestly doesn't doesn't hurt the game I, I think it it's fine either way more waist high walls <laughs> so here I can sprint um, you can't sprint if you're not being attacked. Just have your teammate shoot at you. Yeah. Well, so in a speed run, you'll you can use a grenade on yourself, and and then you can run. This is the dig site. The beacon here, was right was here. It must have been moved. Idea. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? No. If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. Or on It's the just crates. on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. They never stopped to investigate the people on pikes. I mean, you'd think you might. Spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. Very I'll wait for you there. It seems like a point of interest. It's Better than standing around and talking about the Geth. <laughs> they <laughs> like, do seem to like to do that. Like quizzing each other about what they remember <laughs> from school. Uh, so each of the characters carries four guns with them at, at any time. Um, an assault rifle, a pistol, a shotgun, and a sniper rifle. And a crowbar? No crowbars. Um, no, no real melee weapons at all in this game. Um, it's pretty much guns. And only soldiers are good at using the assault rifle, which is the most useful gun. So, um, the other people pretty much stick with pistols. Pistols are really strong, but they, and, and they're accurate, but they're, they don't fire very quickly. And you can only shoot them a few times before they overheat. So, the, there's no ammunition in this game. Uh... The, the guns work on the, the same Mass Effect technology that the, the Fast and the Light Travel technology does, which is that if you pass a current through the matter, it spontaneously gains mass. So you just have like a tiny bit of mass in your gun, and right before it exits the barrel, it, it runs a current through it, I guess, and, uh, and it becomes like a full massive bullet. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Some guys on pikes. They're kind of glowy, kind of creepy. These are husks. Oh god, they're still alive. Or something. They're zombies. What do to them? They put them on pikes. What does it look like? And turn them into zombies. This is how you get turned into a zombie in Mass Effect. You put on spikes. And they are ridiculously strong enemies. They take a lot of damage. Um, they're not particularly dangerous. Or I just hit one with a grenade, and it still didn't die. Also, they seem to be fast zombies. You know how there's the whole 
fast versus slow zombies. That's true. These are pretty clearly fast. They're zombies. pretty fast, yeah. And they'll explode if they get too near you. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, totally sucks. Kamikaze zombies. Yeah. There you see heavy armor Krogan. Um, the different aliens have different armor, so you can't just put human armor on, a, on an alien. Uh, so this is the hacking minigame. It's Frogger. Circular Frogger. And I hate it. Because it's kind of objectively stupid. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. He seems a little Don't worry. Creepy. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Renfield. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. He's like obsessed. The leader of the enemy. <laughs> he was here. Where did my the attack. Go? Mm -hmm. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Hmm. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't no, seen him. He's not exactly the only one in the universe. The attack. As far as I mean, I get it. Did you tell me anything about well, that's the a human colony? It's some type of data module from a galaxy wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. He doesn't look like a man. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards Usually, us? To understand there yeah. is no escape? No hope? Yeah. No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Mm -hmm. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. This looks like a job after for... Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My I'm voice just, must him. be heard. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god! What did you do? Uh, punched that him might in the face? Extreme, Commander. Mm. You can't just go around whacking people in the mm. head. William, take for. us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better <laughs> once the medication kicks Sit. in. Stay. Here's Mr. Creepy Face. Saren. Mr. Creepier Face. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. I'm gonna shoot you in the back of the head. That's not a nice guy. It doesn't seem nice. Also, his face is like extra creepy. What is this? Off in the distance. Um, Shit. It's the, Look at the hand size of it. cuttlefish thing. 
cuttlefish? Yeah, you know, they um, they eat them a lot in Hawaii. They're, they have, oh. like, tentacles. Oh, by the way, explosive barrels? Yeah. That was effective. Yeah. Then you just have to deal with these damn husks. He just got hit by uh, the throat attack and almost nothing happened. Ridiculously overpowered enemies. Look, the squad mates actually shot and killed something. Amazing. More Frogger! It feels awful too. I mean, it, it, it's not any worse with a Atari 2600 controller. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Really? That ship looked like trouble? Tell me everything <laughs> you remember about the what attack. What do you think? The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Protean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. From inside your head. Whatever it was, yeah. felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. Why do the troopers need cocaine? You have something to tell me, Cole? <laughs> Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. This is the We're charm risking our lives to save this colony. Option. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here. Something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait. I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? <laughs> Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? He was gonna blow someone's head off for information about something I that... I have to go. Why, d why would that even matter that there's a smuggling ring on a, on a planet that's basically just been destroyed? Like, no contraband stuff in this burned-out wreckage. It's the principle of the thing. Damn it. 
I'm an asshole. <laughs> Bully more of this sort of yeah, the, uh, the combat sensor just prevents people from jamming your stuff. Uh, I'm gonna give the pistol to Caden because he can't use an assault rifle. Oh, well, he can, but it, he blows at it. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I'm sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one shot him. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. Saren or Susan? And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... Like, why I are we investigating this? The to grab 40 winks where the supervisor Seriously, can't who cares? <laughs> Did you lie on your time card? Because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Are yeah, they I guess. guilt tripping him for napping? I don't really want to think about it. I need more information about Tell these me naps. About the attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Like, do you Is sleep in your clothes or what? The they brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Do you leave your shoes on while you're napping? Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never you seen anything like it, it before. It was it all technically It was huge. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ask everybody Landed what their impression that was. Jesus. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise. This, this yeah, yeah, sound. We know. Bored right into your brain. Yeah. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Your call's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. Maybe. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd Thank actually you, need those you. grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's <laughs> here, pal. I would kill your Hand napping ass. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If but I apparently you, not that much handy. No, up. they're terrible. Yeah, uh, okay. You know, they seem pretty lame. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. 
Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay, this is not the way you want to do this. You want to hide behind that box that I just ran by and said that I'm an idiot. But it's really not hard. And and his his arms are broken, like there's behind his back. It happens. And you can't just shoot this destroyer, you have to use throw on him, but I had already used it, so now I have to wait for it to recharge. You can shoot him all day, nothing will happen. Shields. Yeah, the shields are really weak. Here I switch to the sniper rifle, which I'm terrible at using. It it moves around randomly. And it's hard to tell whether you've actually hit something. I hit that box. The sniper rifles are way more useful in the other games. They're kind of useless here. And this grenade's going to do nothing. momentarily annoy the enemy. Yeah, maybe it'll distract them. And here I realize that I missed the medigel that I shot. Anyway, while I flail around, I, I just wanted to mention that the I, I really liked the music in this game. Um, as the series progressed, they got closer and closer to like orchestral music. But this one has like a really cool synthetic vibe. Uh, I don't think there are any real instruments used in most of these compositions. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. You know, except for all, all the dead bodies and stuff. And, and, and the video footage. And the dudes on pikes. I guess the dudes on pikes are gonna get blown up. Mm. So you have to disarm these bombs. It's really easy. Just walk up to them and hit E. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. So go find them, bitch. Only Shepard somehow knows how to disarm bombs. Isn't the other guy like a tech? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and if you run past this and just you, you are gonna die. You need to stop here and shoot these guys. And they can put up shields. The shields are not particularly strong. 
They're really more of a nuisance. So if one of your squad members uh, loses all his health during a fight, he doesn't die, he's just not available uh, until the next fight. Even the gr even then the grenade didn't totally kill him. And those snipers do a ton of damage. You can also tell your squad mates what to do like to follow you or to stay and cover you and it's really fiddly and useless. And that's it. And yet we still have danger music going on. There are a few guys down there. They're really not a threat. Take it all. So, yeah, supposedly they find the beacon uh, because they're digging a trench for a new monorail, but it's it's kind of a plot hole because it all of this action wouldn't have made sense without that having happened, and this stuff would have been happening anyway, and anyway, it'll become clear later. This game is genuinely, generally speaking, pretty well written. Um, there are way, way more plot I inconsistencies in the other two games. And I fucking failed this. Ugh. There's no penalty this time. O other times you have to use um, Omni Gel if you screw up. But this one I get a freebie. And for some reason, I think there are items over here, and there totally aren't items over here. And it's not an especially scenic game. Well, it is sometimes. Okay, fine. Just not at present. Here it is. Oh, goody, a thing. Yay, things. We win. Yay, game over. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. So Ashley's going to approach the beacon. If you're, if you're playing as a female shepherd, it'll be Caden. Who approaches instead? I don't. I don't know why. Cause you have to grab grab someone of hot. the opposite sex. Yeah. No. I mean, there are entire groups Shut dedicated to to getting it on with Caden. <laughs>
squid ship. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, like her front the Normandy, <laughs> a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. That's the voice of Marina Sirtis of Star Trek The Next Generation fame. Waking up. How did you know? You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Crappy. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. I'm thinking that's why it set, got set off. A system overload, likely. maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Creepy voice. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add <laughs> the music stops report. abruptly. May oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Yeah, you questioned it's every Saren. single person the about what the it. ship looked like. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this pipes? to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? 
Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. So next time we'll go to the Citadel. Bye.